Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, for my lovely Capricorns, let's see. So we have two cards for you guys. Uh, so the bottom of the deck, it says space. Okay. I need more time to think. Okay. So during this period of separation, maybe you feel like this separation was much needed. Okay. Maybe you feel like, um, you know, it has resulted in you kind of reflecting, um, whether it's, you know, reflecting about the uh, connection and figuring out what you want, uh, what you want to occur next, or even, you know, reclaiming your power, or just needing some sort of space uh, for yourself, you know, for some, you know, meantime. Okay, so the first card we have is mend. Okay, guys, so it says, I want to fix our connection. And then the second card is soul tie. I always feel connected to you. Okay, so, I mean, this person definitely wants to fix, uh, you know, this connection. They want to work on, you know, said thing that causes separation, which we're going to clarify and figure out here. But with the soul tie card, I do feel like this person is constantly reminded of you, right? I always feel connected to you. So there, you know, it seems that there's a lot of uh, distance between the both of you, right? Emotional distance, but this person still thinks of you. They still feel connected to you. They're still very curious. And I'm just getting like a key message about this person um, constantly being reminded of you or comparing other people or other situations to you. That's what I'm feeling so far. Okay, so let's see. For my Capricorns in separation, let's see. Yeah, this person definitely wants a change in this dynamic. They're wanting a brand new beginning here. Um, also an energy of making something up to you. Like you guys may have had travel plans with this person or you guys may have um, wanted to do something together, but then the separation occurred before you guys could get to it. So I feel like that's on your person's mind. Um, then we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, Capricorn. So this speaks about someone who wants to be very open with you, very honest. Um, so there could have been a lack of clarity or there's something that has occurred, something that has changed that they want to speak to you about. Okay, they really don't want to beat around the bush. Like this is someone who's very determined to have some sort of truthful conversation with you. Um, and, you know, it's not someone who is going to sugarcoat what they have to say. They just want you to know um, either, you know, if it's about how they're feeling or, or you know, um, what they want to alter moving forward. What is the mutual energy? Three of Swords. So you guys are both very hurt by this uh, separation in the current moment here because the Three of Swords, guys, is in the mutual energy, which means both of you are, um, you know, equally as hurt. And I do feel like it's a sense of, yes, there is a lot of emotional hurt here, but it's affecting you guys on a mental level because the swords boil down to something that you're thinking about, something that you are trying to find a solution for. Okay, so what I see here, Capricorn, is you know, mutually you guys are thinking about what happened, okay? The, some sort of betrayal or some sort of heartache is still very much present, but you guys are also very um, stressed out in terms of, okay, what does the future hold? Where can this possibly go? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Five of Pentacles um, on the bottom of the deck here. So some of you, you know, I just, it could be a Scorpio that you guys are uh, involved with, but I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles, like, Tower in the middle. First of all, something here definitely was uh, came to light abruptly. Okay, so whether it was some sort of truth, it could even be the separation that I'm picking up on. So maybe you didn't expect things to end as fast as fast as they did. Um, but with that, uh, you know, Queen of Pentacles as well as that Five of Pentacles, it's almost like your person feels that they were holding some sort of ego or pride with you because they realize your worth with the Queen of Pentacles. But Five of Pentacles is someone who feels like an outsider. 
but because of the tower it's almost like even even though you guys are in a separation in original tarot the five of pentacles is an energy of uh, you know, them feeling left out in the cold, but there is assistance available, but they're choosing to not, you know, um, ask for help. So it's almost like some of you feel if this person misses you, why aren't they reaching out to you? That sort of thing. I can I can sense that energy very heavily. Um, but I am getting a download of this person feeling like they either were, they did not value you or they did not treat you the way they feel like they should have. Like there's some sort of regret for that. I do see that. Okay. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. This person, you may receive unexpected communication from this person because behind the Knight of Swords, guys, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is someone who, who feels very connected to you and they can't seem to you know, break this tie here or they can't seem to think of anything else because they see the potential. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, guys, is like someone who feels like they know it's going to take a while to build something stable here, but they're willing to do that. It's not a commitment that occurs overnight, but it, but they do feel like there could be a lot of stability here. You know, you guys could create generational wealth together. And there's a lot of emotions also because we see the Ten of Cups. Now, as much as there's a desire for a commitment with that Knight of Swords energy, you may find that when you guys do con converse, it's more so about like getting each other's point across as opposed to listening to each other's point you understand what i'm saying because the knight of swords could sometimes be viewed as like um like someone who's very quick on their feet but they're like a selective listener or they say something very impulsively and they're not thinking about how that would affect the opposing party okay um so let's see here <clears throat> queen of swords Okay, eight of cups. So Capricorn, how this person views you is someone who is like very no BS. They showed up as a king of swords and then now we see the queen of swords here, which lets me know like they view you as a very clear cut person. Like you know what you want, you know, and if you're not going to receive that or that's not going to be the outcome, you have absolutely no issues cutting ties. But what I see here is even if you had to cut ties with this person, the separation is affecting you on a deep level, but you're not necessarily being open about it. They feel like you are in a pretty detached energy at this time. And I will say they are sensing some sort of like frustration or disappointment on your end. Okay. Um, again, you know, you are in a very clear cut energy, but the queen of swords could also be someone who's very blunt. You know, if, you know, I'm not getting what I want here, I need to cut ties. I need to move on. So on the outside, it may come off as someone who is very detached, but beneath that, we still see the three of swords, which means you are still hurt by this, but it's almost like, okay, I am hurt by this, but I need to do the right thing, or I need to do, uh, you know, what's best for myself. So what's the queen of swords? For some of you, you could have recently went through a divorce or a breakup, like a severe breakup with this person because Ten of Pentacles could also indicate that you guys were in a committed relationship, but Queen of Swords, you know, the separation occurred recently. Um, what's the Queen of Swords? Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, so Capricorn, with the Queen of Swords upright and the Two of Swords in reverse, it's an energy of your person feeling like once you became very clear on your intentions of walking away from the situation or letting this person know, hey, if nothing is going to come from the situation or my desired outcome is not going to, you know, come into fruition here, I have no problem walking away. It's caused them to get more clear on uh, the future. And, and like the best way for me to explain this, guys, is like, This could have been someone who was having a hard time seeing the future of this connection or they were hard, having a hard time making a decision and now they have done a complete 180 here because two of swords in reverse is someone who is no longer indecisive and it's an energy of not, it's like you, you no longer feel confused. You know, the, the, the blindfold is ripped off. You're kind of like, okay, now I see where this is going or now I see, you know, what Capricorn really wanted all along. You know, it sounds kind of drastic, but maybe it took you walking away or, you know, this separation for this person to understand, uh, you know, why you walked away and what you initially wanted from this bond. Because with the two of swords in reverse, it lets me know that maybe in the past there was some sort of confusion, but now your person is starting to see things a lot more clearly than they did uh, prior. Okay. 
Um, and the, and again, we have the two of swords in reverse and we have the three of swords, right? And the, the two of swords comes before the three of swords. So for some of you, it's the confusion that caused this um, uh, painful ending or painful separation. And I will say that for some of you, like, this person is now realizing why you guys are in a separation. They're now realizing why you became detached or um, what you were not impressed by. Okay, and because they view you to be in a very clear cut energy right now, I also feel like they know why. With the two of swords in reverse, again, they're gaining clarity. They're not as confused about the situation as they used to be. What's the three of swords? Yeah, this person spends a lot of time thinking about you and, you know, the hanged man coming out in a no communication spread is not really uh, surprising because it does talk about more of a complacent energy. So your person is having a shift in perspective. They're seeing things from you, like they're seeing your side of the story, but they are not necessarily doing anything about it right now. I see someone who is more stuck in thought, but let's go ahead and clarify that energy. Wow. Empress on the bottom of the deck. Some of you may be involved um, with a Libra or a Taurus. Six of Swords. I think mutually what's going on is okay, if I was to if I were to break down this energy, Capricorn, like what I feel like is going on between the both of you right now is like, okay, there's still heartache present with that three of swords in 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 upright, okay? And then with the hanged man, it's more like having a new perspective or a shift in perspective. Like the things that you were not able to see from your person's um end when you guys were either, you know, in a conflict or or, you know, maybe not on the best terms for, you know, a lack of be uh, better words here. But I do feel like you are now realizing maybe certain things that were unclear to you in the past, and so is your person. Because again, hanged man, you guys are having a shift in perspective. You're looking at things from maybe a new light but there's a lack of action then when we see the six of swords it seems that you're trying your best to make peace with this situation you're wanting to move to calmer waters it just seems that one party here is accepting of the fact that because it's in the mutual energy i you know again i can't say if it's your energy or your person's but i feel like there is an energy here in particular with that six of swords where like one of you are more comfortable with moving okay Hold on, guys. Let me just gather my thoughts because I speak very fast and I'm trying to uh, get better at that and kind of slow down my thoughts here. Okay, so here's what I see, guys. Like six of swords. Okay, so you, Capricorn, for, for example, if this is your energy that I'm picking up on, what I see is you are wanting to make peace with the situation, yes. But if you cannot make peace with the situation, you're trying to find a peace of mind. So yes, you do want to work on things in this connection, but if you feel like it's not going to work, you're not going to hesitate one bit to move on, be on your own and, and attain some sort of peace of mind, even if it requires you to leave this person behind, okay? There just seems to be one person here who is a little more comfortable being in an independent energy or choosing to separate themselves from this equation if need be with that Queen of Swords energy. And the reason why I feel like it's your energy is because that's how your person is viewing you again it doesn't make it true guys it could just be your person's perspective on you um what's the ten of pentacles <clears throat> wow ace of cups so there's a potential, you know, for a new beginning here. There is a potential to make peace with the situation, um, but it's about building on stable grounds, right? We have the Tower and the Four of Pentacles. It will also take a lot of um, compromising or an energy of being open with each other on equal levels instead of one person holding back and one person, you know, kind of being more open than the other. So it's going to take a lot of reciprocity and equal efforts here. What's the Ace of Cups? An Ace of Cups could also be a new beginning elsewhere, guys. Keep that in mind. I'm reading for a lot of you, so not all of you are going to want to mend this bond. But let's see. What is the Ace of Cups? Three of Pentacles wanted to come out in reverse. Let me just clarify that energy. 
Yeah, some of you feel like you need to move on because you feel like there's a lack of stability or a lack of clarity. Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Like, even if an opportunity presents itself to re you know, for some sort of reconciliation here, yours, your mind is focused on the Ten of Pentacles. Where are you going to be satisfied? Where are you going to feel the most grounded, the most happy? And if it's not here, I, I feel like you guys will be moving away. Three of Pentacles can also be an indication that if you guys were to try to work on things together, there may be something in particular that you guys have a hard time coming to a mutual understanding on it's like you may have a very different definition of love or you may have a d very different way of going about things um as opposed to your person here okay i just want to clarify the three of pentacles oh okay what's the three of pentacles in reverse five of swords yeah Mental conflict, right? Like being stressed out about the connection going back and forth in your mind. Um, I just feel like there is a potential here, okay, um, for a new beginning. Again, guys, keep in mind it's a general reading, so I can give you two different scenarios here. Some of you will be moving on to new love, but the main thing that I see here, guys, is you're focused on what makes you feel grounded, what makes you feel... Um, happy but more stable like you are taking the more stable route with the three of pentacles in reverse there may be something that you try like for those of you that are trying to work on something with this person it could be one thing in particular like i said that is causing some sort of mental conflict with the five of swords so it could be again you know your approach to the situation or what you're wanting from the situation how you view things or how you want things done versus your person and then you know it could be it could feel difficult to come to some sort of mutual understanding here that's what i see okay guys um so switching over to the message deck let's see what your person wants to tell you okay so bottom of the deck guys yep it's a three letter word with you so there is a lot of desire here guys i just have to be careful with what i say i have all ages watching my channel but i see there's a lot of passion here right guys um i feel like this person could be missing your physical touch and then split the deck, it says, please do what is best for your heart. This person is is either very tired of causing hurt or they know that they, you know, with the three of swords upright, you may choose to move on or you may choose to, you know, work on yourself or, you know, heal from what has occurred. And it's someone who doesn't want to cause any more hurt. That's what I do see. They want to fix things between the both of you, but they don't want anything to escalate or they don't want to end up in a situation where it feels worse than what you guys are currently in. In terms of the separation let's see okay what does this person want to tell capricorn i can't express myself Okay, so this person definitely could have had trouble being vulnerable. They could have, they could be someone who thinks about you a lot and this situation affects them on a mental level, but swords is more of a mental energy. You're not necessarily expressing or being open about it. Okay, for some of you, three of pentacles in reverse, remember I just told you guys there could be something in particular that you guys don't agree on or something that is very difficult to overcome. For some of you, it's communication. Maybe you feel like you're very open with this person and this person is very closed off and that's just kind of like a deal breaker for you. Yeah, because bottom of the deck here, guys, it says, I wish I could understand you. So this could even be on your end, right? Um, maybe you feel like you have to constantly figure this person out or dig, dig beneath the surface, but you just wish that they were more open or vice versa. Let's see. What does this person want to tell Capricorn? These feelings are eating me alive. Yeah. And they are, right? That's why this person is very stressed out. You know, they want to make peace with the situation. They are seeing things a lot more clearly, but it says, I can't express myself and these feelings are eating me alive. It's because they're containing those feelings. They're bottling up those emotions and they feel like, you know, that energy is not, you know, going anywhere. It's not flowing, you know? Um, so they feel very stuck. They feel very stuck on you and... It could even be the same emotions that they're feeling over and over again. Um, anything else for Capricorn? I'm 
I can't talk to you right now. So what I see from these three cards, guys, is someone, whether it's blocked communication, it's throat chakra blockages, or someone who is thinking about you, but they don't know how to put their emotions into words. So I see someone who's facing great difficulty expressing how they feel. They're feeling the emotions, but when it comes to verbalizing them, that's where the blockage lies. Um, and bottom of the deck here, we see, we see, I wish I could understand you again, right? So with the Queen of Swords, they could even be viewing you as someone who is very detached or someone who has your back turned towards a situation where they're wondering how you feel and there's a lot of curious energy, but there's a lack of expression or uh, communication here, All right? So my wonderful Capricorns, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.